This is hydrogen tap. Interesting development. I've been taking apart the cell, of course, that was in the Honda, the focus cell, and I had misinterpreted some data that I got off of it while I was taking it apart. If you recall, the inside of the bottom of the cell has this on it. It looked like it was rust on the inside. It turns out it is not. It turns out what has happened is I had put that glue on the inside of the bolt so that when I fastened it, the glue would seal the inside. And what you're looking at here is actually the glue that's turned this rancid color. And uh, which kind of is good. You can see here how it's stuck here. This is the glue that I put on the inside, thinking that I was going to use it to seal everything. And it turns out it's the glue that we're looking at here. I'm going to take something, get something to take that off. So, that's a bit of good news. Let's see how much glue I have on here. It's coating the whole inside. I didn't actually coat it. What I did is I glued the underside and when I forced this onto the bottom side of the plate, the glue of course overflowed. And you can see it here. So all this brown stuff is actually the glue. The glue didn't change, it just coated it. So what you're looking at is the glue coating. So it wasn't really rust, all rust, it was just this thick glue on the bottom. That's a good thing. So that means actually nothing is going on inside this cell that didn't already know about. We still have the rusty color, but if you look in the last video, you'll note that it's not magnetic, so it is not rust. It's some kind of chemical reaction that's going on inside the, the cell itself. But you can definitely see that this is all glue. It's just not a, a hunk of rust or whatever it was that I thought it was. And that's good news. And again, this is the focus plate that I took out of the Honda. The plates are really in good condition. There's nothing's happening with that. If you want to give me an email at johnarons at hydrogentap.com, more than happy to correspond with you. Or you can go to my site, hydrogentap.com, and see the focus cell. I'm going to be doing more tests on the focus cell now. And I'll show you that next video. Focus cell is working really well in the, the Honda. I've taken it out now and doing more tests with it. I'll be putting it back in the Honda hopefully by the end of next week. Gotten a lot of questions about it. As you can see, this is the end plate. There are two of these end plates and two other power plates. So there's actually six 
or three positive and three negative plates in the focus cell. The rest of the plates out of the 11 are neutral plates. A lot of people are wondering how come they're getting so much heat or amperage out of their cells. And that has been one of the answers for the focus cell is that I'm using neutral plates. I never believed in them before, but I'm becoming a believer now. Those of you trying to duplicate the focus cell that I made, you can see these are the plates. This is the end plate, one of the two end plates with its electrode. I've got a half inch hole that goes on the top of that, a quarter inch hole now that's going here, and two three eighths holes in the center. This is the other plate, the other power plate. And you see if you put these together, the only difference is this this power plate does not come or does not have the electro electro electrode on the top of it. You can see how that works. These are quarter inch holes I have here. They're not in the picture quarter inch, but what happens is uh, they, I use these for markers and then I drill quarter inch holes here. And again, these are three ace holes that are that allow the nylon screws to go through. So there's one more plate and that's the neutral plate. And the neutral plate is exactly like this plate. The only difference is it's cut off on the top. Again, there are 11 plates in the focus cell. It's putting out about one liter per minute. And if you go back on the videos, you'll see that. It has six power plates, three positive, three negative. The rest are all neutral. These plates are three inches by eight. And the focus cell seems to be working very well. Again, I'll be putting it, reinstalling it back in the Honda uh, next week. And the reason for that is I'm trying to upgrade it. I've done a lot of upgrades since I put the focus in. A number of people asking about the way I cut my plates. I use, uh, this is a 6 inch plate by 12 inches long. That's how I get them. This is my band saw that I use. And I have a pre-set up jig here that cuts these square in half. Square in half. Cuts these straight down the center. I'm using goggles, a face mask, and ear mufflers so that I don't go hard of hearing when I cut this. We'll see what happens here. This bandsaw does work very well.